Hey, this is Spencer with The Fibrous. I'm here with our camera operator, Mel, who's going to be interviewing me and giving asking me some questions. Hello. Thanks for joining us, Mel. <laughs> Thanks for having me. So Spencer, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to? So this summer, um, I have not been doing a lot of fiber arts or um, etc. because we recently adopted a dog a couple, month or two ago. So Gus has been taking a lot of our time and my energy. Um, we love him. He is a handful. That's like most <laughs> dogs. Um, but so if you've wondered why we haven't posted a lot, uh, I've been very busy sort of with that, with work and getting back into sort of playing Dungeons and Dragons and other role-playing games with friends, trying to get some level of normalcy in my life, even though we're very much socially distanced and doing everything sort of digitally and online. That's good to hear. So uh, tell me a little bit about your favorite fibrous colorway. Ooh, for me, that's a toss up. I love our Azurite. It's one of my favorite colors and I use it whenever I can. Um, but if I had to choose between it and a variegated or one of our other colors, I think I would say Scarlet Macaw is the other favorite, which if you haven't seen it, it's one of our newer colors. It is, um, base yarn is white with a rainbow of colors, so it looks like a Scarlet Macaw. Um, I love that. That's just such a great rainbow. So between the two of those, those are my two favorite colors. Awesome. So y'all have some fantastic Schrodinger bags in your fall festival lineup. Um, can you tell me which bag you would pick if you were coming to do some shopping yourself? Ooh, that's a tough one. So I'm a luxury guy. So I think I would go for our Hopper DK, which is super squishy. And if I could just knit with anything, I probably would knit with this. Um, so what's the Hopper DK again? So our Hopper DK is our merino yak silk. It is 70% merino, 15% yak, 15% silk. It is a DK weight and they are three, uh, the four ounce skeins. Um, and the, the kit itself, the luxury bag is a $50 bag. And um, can you tell me, is that a heathered yarn, would you say? Like, does it have a bit of a heathered look to it? It does. So our hopper yarn starts with a gray undertone um, because of the yak. So we don't get the same colors that we normally would get on our um, sort of our sheep yarns, which come with a white undertone usually, or a cream undertone. Uh, the colorways are actually different too. They're all named after hex codes for web uh, color reference uh, because Hopper is named after Grace Hopper, who was an early computer pioneer. And so we're trying to bring that computer aspect into it. Um, I love the heatherness. It adds a lot of texture and depth to the yarn. That said, if I was on a little bit more of a budget and I didn't want to go and break, the, not necessarily break the bank, but go with my luxury, my other option would be Experiment 20 because this is a limited stock and it would run out soon. Um, it's a $30 bag. Uh, Experiment 20 is 51% silk, 29% merino wool, and 20% sea silk. So it is still part of my luxury aesthetic because it's mm -hmm. super soft and squishy and shiny. Um, but it is a little bit more towards your budget side. Uh, these skeins are three and a half ounces and there's two in the bag, um, but there's a much less color options in those bags. Fair so enough. Between those two, that would be my choices. Well, it's great to see y'all back in action. Thanks for talking with us today, Spencer. Yeah, and hopefully I see a lot of people on our web portal this weekend for the show. And hopefully some of you can get out there in person to support the other vendors who are out there um, in person this year. All right, thanks. Thanks everyone, see you soon.